we will take you through the Insignia die cutting system and how it achieves the die cutting process, including stripping out the finished die cut product. All of the Insignia machines are proudly made in the USA and are offered in four size models. We'll start with the feeding system of the machine. The Insignia feeding section features a pallet load capacity and individual sucker heads to contact each sheet, which allows for a wide range of adjustment on different types of stocks, as well as stock conditions. Variable and static batching capabilities are available within the feeder, as well as downstream within the delivery. Utilizing flexile cutting dies, Insignia offers the ability to change out die tools within minutes with no make ready, which saves both time and material compared with traditional platen die cutters. Shown is a die tool being mounted onto the magnetic cylinder of an Insignia 6 machine. As the sheet transitions from the feeder into the register section, each sheet is stopped and laterally pulled to a register point. Both mechanisms have micro-adjustment capabilities, and the sheet can be registered from either left or right edge. After being die-cut, the sheet is delivered onto a vacuum conveyor that transports the sheet through the Insignia stripping section and removes the waste to deliver only the die-cut product into one of two different delivery options. Pieces can be shingle-delivered onto a slow-moving conveyor table for continuous processing. These tables have optional batching abilities for optimal separation of product and easier offloading. Die cut product can also be delivered into vertical stacks on the Stackmaster delivery unit that is capable of delivering large quantity runs with minimal amounts of labor. Product can be delivered into removable bins or straight onto the floor.